What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about the MOS 92 Golf, right? For my Know Your MOS series where I bring you different MOSs and I have different people on the channel to talk about that specific MOS and just give you information such as what's the day to day like, how hard is training, what can you expect in AIT and you know so many other questions guys and today like I said it's going to be 92 Golf. And what that is, is a food service specialist, or you know, sometimes it's called culinary specialist. And I have PFC Murphy coming on the channel to talk about it and tell you, you know, um, what life as a culinary specialist is like. She also has a YouTube channel, uh, she goes by Skinny Golf on YouTube, so feel free to hit her up, guys. And also, take this second to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and also comment down below what other MOSs you wanna see me cover and give information on in future videos. That way you guys are better informed and you have a bigger variety or more options to choose from, you know, when you're considering your MOS before joining the United States Army. But, without further ado, let's get to it. Hi guys, it's your girl Skinny Golf and I'm here on Ben's channel. Thank you Ben for having me. I'm here to talk about my MOS and basically what it entails and just the ins and outs of my MOS. So first question, what exactly is your MOS and what does it entail? I'm a 92 Golf and that's a culinary arts specialist. So basically, I could read what it means online but to break it down, you cook. All you do is cook from sending out marmites into the field to cooking in a defect. Like, y'all, everyone goes to chow. You will be that individual that prepares that meal. And that's about it. I mean, like, we do work in the motor pool too, PMCS or vehicles and all our equipment, but that's just our MOS. Every MOS has their own vehicles assigned to their unit and everything so you have to work on that so we do have a little bit of knowledge out of our MOS but we both we mostly do cooking what advice do you have for incoming soldiers who plan to pursue your specific MOS so do not pick this MOS if you do not like cooking if you do not want to cook do not pick it do not pick this MOS you're going to be miserable because you will do that 24 7 you will wake up 4 45 every single morning and you will not leave until 16 30 and you will be cooking 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 or sometimes ugh, all the action we work 14 hours it's some long hours if you do not like to cook don't pick this MOS how physically demanding is your MOS? Honestly, it's really not physically demanding. You, so for instance, I haven't done PT in three months because of the schedule. We do PT here in Germany, like everywhere else, 6.30 in the morning, right? But because we're up from like 4.45 in the defect, already prepping, we don't get to go to PT. So we do PT on our own. But I personally haven't been working out because I fall asleep when I get home. So, do the PT test, pass the PT test, but it's not physically demanding. If you can still watch your eating habits and you know you still perform, you'll be fine. It's not physically demanding. How could one better prepare for the requirements of your job? So, don't expect to be running a gourmet kitchen. You're not Chef Ramsay. We don't do Chef Ramsay unless you're in a competition. So don't think that you're gonna chef, I don't know. I don't know what people think, but I do believe that they expect a little bit more in the DFAC. And in the DFAC, your, our, our station here is very big. In Vilsack is kind of small, but it's big. Our head count is probably like, we serve like 500 soldiers, 800 soldiers on food, soul food days. Don't, expect to be cooking small amounts because what i do realize is that some of the new soldiers they will cook an amount not in a, like thinking about it in actuality that it's not enough and you'll be back there still cooking and cooking and cooking you're like this is not gonna be over but you can cook one amount the right amount and it will be over and you can get you can get to go home earlier so i think they do they underestimate how much you have to cook and then they overestimate how intense you can prepare the meal. 
how long and what was AIT like. So AIT was nine weeks and it went by pretty fast. Like nine weeks, can't beat that. That went by really, really, really fast. And it was, it was, it was the same. We did everything else like any other MOS. I mean, like we would go to Garrison. So Garrison is like in regiment and we have like a kitchen, like a, not a fake kitchen, it's a real kitchen, but it's where we went to train to cook all the meals that are in the recipe. We have a recipe book. The army has a recipe book where all the meals that you would get, we went to prepare them and we would serve the Marines and we would serve the Air Force. We would eat there too, but we had our own DFAC. So we'd um, serve other um, branches. We had weapons like everybody else. We did drills. We went to the field. We went to the field the longest. QMFTX was one week. Longest in history at Fort Leonard. My platoon, we were out there for one week. It was intense. If you could change your MOS, would you? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't change my MOS. I like I like my MOS. I like cooking. I can cook very well. In fact, I actually went to the board yesterday. Well, you don't know what day it is. And I won. I had to do a cook-off, and I was successful as well. And I You do... Go to the board like a, a regular soldier of the month board as well. So they do ask a soldier question and then you go to the cook-off and show your skills. So I do like my MOS. And there are opportunities in this MOS. Like you can go to the White House and cook if you're that good. If you can cook that good and you went to college or you, you know, pursue military education, you can go places. What made you pick your MOS? So before I joined... I was a cake decorator at Publix. So I worked in a bakery and I was always around food basically. And I, I, I can naturally cook. I do feel like I am one of those few people who can naturally cook by default. I don't have to try, I don't have to try harder. That's not me blowing up my head. That's just something I've, I've realized that you know, once you figure out your talent, then you pick an MOS that's available that fits you. And then if you don't like it, you can always reclass. But if I do, re I'm not reclassing. I, I do think uh, I'm going to drop a pocket and go to OCS. That's just my plan for now, but I don't know. I'm trying to finish my tour in Germany. Hardest part of your MOS is waking up early in the morning back to back and not being able to do PT. Like when I, the first month it was really hard because I realized that my body was aching because I was, my body was getting lazy and relaxed. And I was, I, I didn't gain much weight, I shredded it off, but that's the hardest part. And that's why 92 golfs always seem like they're getting fat. They're not fat because if they were, you know what I mean, out of regulation and height and weight, they would have been kicked out already. But they do look a little, they do look a little bit chubbier like other immersives too. But that's just the only bad thing about it. That's the end of it. So basically, the best thing I can tell you about choosing this MOS, you have to like to cook, want to cook, and you'll be fine. Okay, so that's the end, guys. Thank you, guys for watching and you can find me on Instagram at skinny underscore golf on Snapchat as only underscore Murphy D and my YouTube is skinny golf no spaces thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day Alright guys, so there's the video. Very informative, right? She hit on a lot of good topics, you know, what training is like, what to expect, you know, uh, what you, what kind of like mindset you need to have if you choose that MOS. Like she said, like you're going to be cooking a lot. So you want to have that mentality like, hey, I like cooking. This is what I want to do. If not, you're going to be bored. And I really hope this video gave you guys a good insight into the MOS and you guys can take this with you should any of you guys want to choose 92 Golf. You know, hey, now you know a little more about it, right? Again, guys, subscribe to the channel if you're new, right, for more informative Army videos. And also comment down below what other MOSs you want to see me go over in the future on my Know Your MOS series, all right? But uh, again, guys, thank you for coming through. I really appreciate it. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I answer all my DMs on there. My username is at Ben underscore Allen 175. But again, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.